So I sat uh, two years ago, I sat uh, in Boston College's uh, recruiting room, got a phone call uh, from John Robinson to be the head coach um, of the Tennessee Titans. Um, clearly um, ecstatic, excited to be with Tyler in that opportunity, but also to be given the opportunity uh, to be the head coach here. Um, with that, after the, the, my, my first call home was uh, to Dean Pease. And I uh, asked Dean, I knew he was retired or was in the process of retiring, but, but wanted him to be a part of this, to help me, um, to help lead our defense and our team. He needed his experience um, and his knowledge uh, to help us get this thing going. So I'd just like Dean to, to be able to have a couple minutes with you guys. Dean. How are we doing? Great. It's like every press conference. Um, Mike gave me an opportunity to, to come here along with uh, John Robinson, along with Amy, and I'm very, very much appreciative. Uh, wasn't a hard sell when he got me out of retirement because of who Mike is, uh, how he was as a player. I knew how the success he'd have as a coach. And uh, it was my honor to be able to work for him for the last two years. But in talking with my wife, we've decided that it's time for me to hang up the cleats, so to speak. And, uh, you know, it's been 47 years. And told the team today, 721 games, that's a lot of games to coach. And it's just, uh, it's time. And it's, I've been around enough players and watched them retire and watch guys sometimes maybe stay longer than they should have. And I just feel like it's a great time for us and my wife. I want to spend a lot of time with my wife. And uh, she's been very supportive. Uh, we've got our 12th grandchild on the way. I got nine grandsons who I are starting to play ball. And, I want to be a part of their life and watching them play. And, and uh, it's been a great profession, been a great ride. I've been very fortunate along the way from being a high school coach, a uh, guy giving me uh, an opportunity to, to coach in high school. And then from Finley College to all the college jobs that I've had with Coach Holt, Coach Saban, um, with Coach Belichick, with Coach Harbaugh, and with Mike, I've been around just nothing but great people. Uh, it's, it's when you're part of great organizations and great players, they make you look great. And I've been very appreciative of them. You know, I'm very appreciative of you guys. Uh, I've really been really fortunate with the media that I've been around, both in New England and Baltimore, and with you guys that, that you know, I, I have no complaints. I, I really feel very fortunate to have been here. And the other thing I'd really like to do besides the organization is the fan base here at Tennessee. Um, my wife and I have been very, very well received and very appreciative of all the support that we've gotten here with all the fans in Tennessee. Um, it's a good chance we may not be moving from this state uh, after living here for the last two years. We own a home on a lake up in Michigan and always thought that was going to be our retirement place till we moved here. And then all of a sudden our plans may have changed. So we, you may see me around uh, uh, a lot. Uh, in fact, after probably about three days of retirement, you, my wife may have you see me a lot. She may get me out of house. But again, I, I just, I've been blessed with a, just a tremendous career, being around tremendous people, both coaches and players and organizations. I've worked for three great organizations in this league. And I can't say enough about the opportunities that that I've been blessed with, and uh, but I think God's kind of trying to tell me that it's it's uh, it's that time. So we'll take a handful of questions. So this is for good this time. Well, that's what everybody. That's the first thing everybody says to me. So is this for real? It is for real. Look, if 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 I wanted if I wanted to continue coaching, it would be here. It, it's it's we got a great staff. Really enjoy the guys. It's great working for Mike. I love our players. Um, uh, this is I'm done coaching. There's a passion when, when talking to the guys about you. There's a passion. You see it in their eyes. You feel it in their voice. What is it that allows you to connect to your players so much? Because not all coaches could do that. Well, I think you know the the, the biggest thing I think in in, in coaching 
Um, somebody just, we were just talking, I was just talking with somebody in the office about it right now, one of the players, and, and I said, you know, if players believe that you care about them, both as a player and not as a player, I think that's the biggest thing. There's a lot of schemes that work. I mean, everybody has a different scheme. Offensive scheme, defensive scheme, whatever. It isn't about the scheme. you got to believe in your scheme as a coach. And if they believe that you believe, that's, that's part of it. But I think the thing of it is, is they, you get them to believe. And if they trust you and really believe that you care about them, like I say, on and off the field, you can get people to do a lot of things. And I do truly care about them. Um, in this career, I have, I have never applied for a job. I've never interviewed for a job. I didn't interview with Mike. I didn't interview with John. I didn't interview with Bill. Um, everything has always been word of mouth. And I've loved every job that I've had. And I think that's the difference in coaching is there's got guys out there sometimes that what can I do to advance? What can I do to get ahead? Hey, you know what you can do? You can do a great job of where you are and love where you are and love the people that you're with. And that'll show and somebody will call you, you know, rather than trying to worry about how, how fast can I advance somewhere? It isn't about that. It's about doing a great job and being loyal to the people that you work for. And I can truly say I've loved every job I've had. I mean, some have been tougher than others, but I've loved it. You love the competitiveness about trying to take a high school program or even a college program that hasn't won and turn it into a winner. That's been just as satisfying as all the other ones. And just as satisfying listening to somebody call you years later who's not in the NFL, but they're having a great career. I mean, I got a call not too long ago. The guy just got named director of the FBI. I mean, they were one of the directors. He went in the director. But that he played for me in college. That, that's just as satisfying. So I think the fact that you have those relationships and that you truly care and people know you care, I think that's – I think that's that's why white people play hard. That's why I work hard for him. The respect I have for him and the other coaches that I worked for. You know, I just uh, I remember what he was like as a player. And somebody always asked me when I went to New England at first what it was like to coach those guys. I said, you know what it's like? It's like coaching coaches. That's what it's like. These guys are prepared and ready, and it's it's and, and that's what he ends, ends up being a very successful. Co uh, professional coach. I mean, that's what it was like coaching Mike. So, um, yeah, I'm grateful to all those guys in my past. Dave, what do you imagine it'll be like watching football next year? Pardon? What do you imagine it'll be like watching football next year? I don't know. I'm going to watch it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be like. Uh, it's been part of my life for so long that uh, I don't know. I know this. I won't be one of these guys that second guesses everybody because that's what it's awful easy to do. And uh, nobody knows what it's like until you're in that position. You don't know if guys are injured, guys are hurt, whatever guys might be. You, you don't know. You know, and, and no coach no coach is going to ever stand up here and make excuses and tell you, oh, this, we had three guys hurt or we had this guy hurt. They're just going to sit and they're just going to take it. And so I know what that's like and, and I know the truth. And so I, I think just watching a game is going to be, you know, I'll watch and root for the guys that that I know and cheer for them and, and uh, be happy for them. When you first started, I guess, back in high school, back in the, the 70s, did you imagine that you would coach this long and, and how fun maybe has the journey been? I'll be honest. When when the, the honest truth is I wanted to be a high school football coach because that was the guys, along with my father, that I admired the most. And uh, my dad never got to see me coach. He died. First year I became a head high school coach, he passed away at 56 years old of a heart attack, never saw me coach. And um, so I've coached a lot of years for him. And um, that's all I ever really wanted to be, Jim. I, I really had no, I didn't, it's, I don't want to say I didn't have any desire. I wasn't, I, I'm happy, I'm a high school coach. This is, boy, this is great. And one thing led to another, and one thing led to another, and one thing led to another. And it's just, it's happened. And did I ever imagine that I'd spend 16 years in the NFL and I'd be a defensive coordinator at these three places? Not in, probably not in my wildest dreams did I ever think that. Uh, but it happened. 
what are you most proud of in your two years here on the job? I'm proud of the way our players played. Uh, I'm, I'm really proud of these guys. Um, you look back at, uh, and we've, I'm just, I'm just proud of the way these guys performed week in, week out, gave it their all, uh, bought into whatever the game plan was that we as a staff put together for them, didn't balk at it. Um, that's what I'm most proud of. I just, uh, you know, Mike came up with the, you know, the slogan, you know, that we finish everything. And I think that's what these guys did. And I and I'm just as much in this last game, I mean, those guys, there wasn't any quit in them. We had a bunch of guys beat up now. I know he won't tell you that. I'll tell you that. But we had a bunch of guys that were playing. And for us to go on the road for four straight weeks against the four teams that we had to play, my hat's off to those guys. Your dad and mine, how special was it for you to be able to coach on the same staff as your son here? At Incredible. Tennessee? And I will be indebted to Mike and uh, Amy and John and all the people that made that happen because it didn't happen at all the other places uh, that uh, I've been wanting that for a long time. And, you know, I retired thinking that was never going to happen, and uh, Mike made it happen. And uh, like I say, and for Amy to allow it to happen, I am truly, truly indebted and grateful. And for to spend two years with my son here and watch him grow is just – there aren't enough words. You guys all know if you have kids. I mean, it's just like it's a dream come true. And being in the same profession, I just it's it was incredible. It was incredible. Thanks, Dave. Thanks. Thanks, 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 Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you, Dean. I, you know, just on behalf of the you know the organization. Um, coaching staff, me. I just want to thank Dean uh, for for his you know, just countless hours in the office and uh, preparation. And I think you can you, know, you hear him talk. I think you see where I get a lot of things. Um, you know, the players love him. You know, I talked him out of retirement once. I didn't have the heart to do it a second time. Um, but uh, you know, we're lucky that that he was here. And he chose to, to come here and be with us. I'm really thankful.